If you would have asked me four years ago what I thought the key ingredient to success was, I would have looked at my freshman planner and my color-coded motivational post-it notes and told you, you cannot be somebody unless you plan for it. Leave no detail of the day to uncertainty. Stay the course. So here it goes, an after-school day in the life of freshman Milana. Chemistry homework, two hours. Obligatory brain break after chemistry, 15 minutes. Brain coasting homework, 40 minutes. Dinner and shower, one hour. Nighttime skincare routine, 30 minutes. Then triple underlined in red, only if you have time, 45 minutes allotted for a single episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. With all the diluted overconfidence of a freshman, I tackled each daily to-do item with steely determination and no hiccups, which left not a doubt in my mind that I could also map out the next four years of my life and beyond. I must have crawled out of the womb with a checklist, and today I'd like to share with you how I marked the milestone of hitting my first double-digit birthday. At 10 years old, I had already prepared a blueprint of life goals to fulfill before I reached the next decade. So let's see what I can check off today. Number one, become the world's best, greatest ballerina. By that, I mean dance professionally with the New York City Ballet. Didn't happen. Number two, choose among three boyfriends to go to prom with. Well, I failed on that one too. Number three, meet One Direction and marry Harry Styles. I don't even recognize the girl who could have written that. But finally, skipping to number six, wish that my childhood would have never ended. Now that high school has drawn to an official close, this one sentiment is the only thing that I'd gotten right. You see, despite the best laid plans, our life's journey may take sudden unexpected twists and turns, regressions, roller coaster jolts, and finally show us that we don't have the 2020 vision to see our destiny. Goals shift, our priorities and tastes change, chaos disrupts the future, the coronavirus mutates to survive, and we as a species must embrace the same shape-shifting flexibility to deal with an unpredictable world. Class of 2020, the world that we inherit after graduation will throw tricky, unexpected curveballs at us. Not only do we face an unknown virus, but also an unknown employment landscape that some economists describe as more disruptive than the Industrial Revolution. In the age of artificial intelligence, algorithms and robots will replace tasks that are menial or repetitive. This automation revolution will take away 30% of the world's jobs by 2030. We will also inherit the fruits of a biomedical revolution when the sequencing of the human genome and the discovery of gene editing technology will drastically extend lifespans and alter what we know about healthcare. Certainly, we will inherit a lot for which no past generation has given us a roadmap to navigate. How should we adapt to meet the changes presented by a world that moves so fast and is constantly evolving? A disruptive world requires dynamic thinking, shattering paradigms, upending what others expect of you, questioning dogma, and constantly reinventing your skills or how to see and do things. According to labor statistics, the average American will change jobs 11 times in a lifetime, 11 new environments to adjust to, and 11 learning curves to climb. To make the leaps that life will expect of you, dare to be creative, be bold, be flexible, because conforming to a mold will mean that you will have to compete with an algorithm. And sometimes when you spin your wheels and are overwhelmed and stuck, lean in on the stabilizing forces in your life, the people whose love for you will never change. Finally, you will just have to throw away any expectations of perfect. Expect the unexpected. Realize that all the amount of fear, worry, and anxiety won't change what you cannot control. So it's better not to dwell on your emotions, but to adapt, adapt, adapt. As you venture forth, Ovito Lions, and wonder what your next bold move will be and where you are headed, I leave you with the words of a wise old time-traveling doctor. Rose, well, we're going, we don't need Rose. Thank <laughs> you.